We were able to make reservations at Cherry Point Marine Air Station in Havelock at the Pelican Point Campground, and I think it worked out really well. Take a look. So we rented a car up in New Bern, so we'd be able to travel around for the next three days. And as we were driving on to Cherry Point, I remembered seeing the Pedro Rescue Helicopter. We drove on to the RV park, beautiful setup on the back end of the base there, very quiet. And once again, we're on cement slab, got ourselves all set up. It's finally time to relax a little bit. This is a beautiful area, very, very quiet and a great place for the dogs. Showers, the campground, very tidy, it was very quiet last night. The bathhouse over there, very close. This is the area we lived in for six years, forever ago. Of course, Brad and his family have been coming down here since the early or mid 70s. So this is truly like coming back home. Carter County Visitor Center just as we got into Moorhead City. It's not far from my parents' gravesite. I always make it a point to stop here and make sure they have new flowers when we come to visit. After that, we went over to my grandmother's cemetery. She lived to be 97 years old and used to tell the most wonderful stories. Then it was a trip over the Atlantic Beach Causeway and over to the old Coast Guard Station and Fort Macon. Fort Macon State Park is a fully restored Civil War fort. Parking and admission are free and the park is open year round. On top of that, dogs are welcome on the outer perimeters of the fort, which is located on the inlet to Moorhead City. Moorhead City is considered the fisherman's paradise. On Saturday afternoon, it was time to head to my brother's bow renewal. Tony and Kathy met in high school and had now been married for 40 years. Diane and I also met in high school, but we waited two years, so we'd only been married for 38. I am so thankful that we were able to attend your vow renewal and 40th anniversary, Tony. Congratulations. All right, so we're on US 70. We left Moorhead City and we've passed this sign about five times in the last two days so we are going to turn around and take a picture of the sign we want to get this is carteret county north carolina referred to as the crystal coast i was stationed in the coast guard here for six years and it is now a an official coast guard community and i think that is very cool what we're doing here? I broke the table. Somehow or another I managed to pull all four screws right out of it. So I'm going to put it back together with better screws which are in the back of the car. And we're very fortunate that Brad always has a good selection of tools. And this fortunately isn't going to take too many. So we decided that this time the bolts where the screw heads would go all the way through the table so the top won't come off the base again. I love it. Have tools, will travel. That's pretty flush. All right, so you flip the table over. There's the base. It's gonna be better than it was. Yeah, if it breaks, it'll be something else that breaks. Mm -hmm. so we'll do this. Put the nuts on, throw them down. We should... I consider this a very simple fix, babe. Yeah, it scared the crap out of me when it came off the base, though. It really did. I was not expecting that. 
Not even a little bit. We have a table. So the finished result looks like that. But that's all right. I don't think it'll pull through. I can always put a placemat over it. It'll there you be go. just fine. All right, so you are bringing in the table, right? We're about to be back in business. There you go. Right. Back in business. Yay! So you've seen our table area. I wanted to let you see how else we can use this area. So the front dinette area can fold down and it becomes like a little day bed or like a little sofa. So the campground is located beside the Slocum Creek and just a short walk or drive down the hill brings you to the boat ramp and kayak launch. Driving to Cherry Point Air Station. And the roads go right over the airfields in at least two areas. Okay, good morning. So today is travel day, and um, we got up, we've cleaned up everything, got everything ready inside and outside. We took the dogs for a walk, which uh, I think the dogs always get too excited on travel days, so that didn't go so well, but we made it through. And now I've just stopped by Duncan. I have Brad's coffee too. And we're heading back to the rig. And I have to turn in this rental car we had. Uh, we got it for three days, so I'm going to turn it back in this morning. And then we're heading to South Carolina. We found a state park to stop in. Santee State Park, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. We did look at a YouTube video about it. It looks pretty rustic compared to the places we've been staying at, at the military bases, but um, that's okay. That'll be all right. It's supposed to be right on the water, so that'll be real pretty. All right, so now I'm heading back before the croissants get cold. We stayed three nights at the Pelican Point campground. We used the laundry. It was $1.50 per load. It was a quiet, it was a quiet campground. I think there might be 40 sites. Uh, it rained one evening and that was very peaceful. I don't think we'd slept in here yet with it raining, so that was nice. There was a large area at the back of the campground, uh, kind of a way where you couldn't actually see the campers. I think they used that area for tent camping, but we used it to let the dogs off leash. I'm not sure if that was actually allowed, but they stayed with us and it was good. Uh, there's also a place to launch the kayaks and that was very nice. Uh, it's a little road down the hill to the river. Uh, but we did check that out. All right, we left the girls alone several times. On Saturday, we bought a second box for Sapphire since we had only brought one. Both dogs are crate trained, and this way we know that both dogs are safe and everything is safe in the rig, and we don't have to worry about that. Brad had to use the tools he brought to fix the table he broke. <laughs> we rented the car, and that worked out really well. We could just leave the rig at the campground with the dogs there and took the car any place we needed to go. And if we're gonna be someplace for three nights, we plan on renting a car, if possible. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that too. Currently working on editing the next video. This one will be from North Carolina, the trip back to Florida. We invite you to come along and enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching. See you next time.